A good segue is a segue that gets you from A to B. It sure does. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back to the party. Uh, Freddy's fighting boss monsters. Um, I was talking about old commercials. Maybe it's just me. This is a trope from Mega Man games. They can go away now. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The boss rush yeah, it sucks. Like, have a boss rush mode, but this... Like, I don't know. Well, the, uh, the X-Challenge mode is a great idea, but, like, I just... Come on, where's Web Spider? There it is. Oh, you, you, you fucked up. There you go. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's it's really fucking, I don't know. I get bored with it pretty quick. Well, it's just like, especially if you've figured out the, the thing and you've got all the armors, you're like, okay, this is literally just slowing me down. It'd probably be more challenging if you were doing a blue bomber buster only run, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I, I don't... It's like being like, oh yeah, Dark Souls would be a lot harder if you did a one bro run. I'm like, yeah, that's the point of the one bro run. <laughs> I tried that shit, it's fucking hard. Yeah, no, I'm good. I enjoy Dark Souls uh, as a game where you progress, yes. and not progressing sounds like a bad time. I do start every Dark Souls game now as a deprived, though. So I can have just 10 on everything and go from there. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played a Dark Souls one run without starting with the master key, uh, and yeah. then going and getting the Havel, getting Havel shit. Is that what the master key's for? Because I started with that and I did not know what to do with it. Uh, and skipping Blight Town, because always skip Blight Town. I mean, I went through Blight Town. Uh, here's the thing: you didn't play Blight Town on PC on the original version where it lagged your shit to death. Okay, is that why it was bad? Is it or I, was it just insanely hard? Both. Okay, because. I didn't have that much trouble with it, and I was like, eh, this. But then uh, again... In the original game, on the original hardware, and on PC, it was just so poorly optimized that Blight Town, like, trying to play through Blight Town, it was like a one frame per second oh. nightmare. Okay. Where you were getting poisoned the whole time. I, um... I, I'll be honest, man, I didn't really have that much trouble with Dark Souls. The only the only enemy that gave me any problems was, uh... The, what's the dragon's name? Kamalit? Kalit? I don't know, I don't remember. The weird... Calamite? Oh, yeah, that guy. Well, he was part of the DLC. Yeah, he is the only guy that gave me trouble. The rest weren't that bad. I think I beat Artorius in, like, two or three tries. Uh, the Artorius fight, I think, to this day, is my favorite fight in it's all neat. of... Uh, mm, that's a hard one. That's my, I don't know what my favorite fight would be. <coughs> I don't know that I have... That and, uh... It gives me aneurysms every time I do it, but uh, the champion Goondir fight, really, I feel like that pushes the, like, base mechanics of rolling and attacking. Yeah. Not the Eudex Goondir, but the champion Goondir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fight, like, I feel like just pushes you to the limits of the base Thanks, combat. Sigma. Yeah, I... Dude, that background is straight up a Motorhead album. God damn it. Thank you. Um... I don't know, man. I I don't know what my favorite fight in that game would be. God damn it. I guess... I don't know, the Nameless King's fun, but... It's alright. I don't... I don't know if I have a favorite fight. I have fights I dread the least. I don't know. Uh, I think my... You know what? No, I think my favorite fight in that game... Uh... Is probably fighting the consumed king, not because like he's a great boss or anything, but because uh, I like the fact that you can summon fucking um, Hawkwood to help you, and like he's got a whole story. And then after that, like you know, he he be he becomes dragon. He's you can go fight him in the Abyss Watcher's cave. I fucking love that. Like, and then fighting Hawkwood is like awesome. It's just it's not a boss fight. It's just an NPC fight. But it's I don't know. It's super cool. I always thought Sigma's design, his weird war pick hammer thing, was super fucking cool. That turns into a scythe. Like, this is probably my favorite Sigma design. Followed swiftly by the design in X5. Followed swiftly by his giant version in X6, which is like a weird gold Terminator. Also, Terminator's on YouTube now. And... I commented on it. I don't know if we did this, if I talked about this on the Pokemon episode, but I was like, this is the best documentary I've ever seen. And someone replied and said, this isn't a documentary. And I, I choose to believe they're trolling. But if they're serious, my insides hurt. And I want to die. <laughs> Are you 
ready for your Some people don't get a good joke, bro. Well, then someone replied to that person, they're like, bro, your shoe's untied. Nice. You fucking just destroyed that shit. Yeah, it, this fight is trivial. You gotta kill that face, though. There you go. You doing it. Which one we getting? We getting that? Look at those sweet lights in the background. Look at these faces. Also, you do the most damage to him. Because he's doing these stupid fucking wave beam attacks. Yep. Oops. Nice rainbow lasers. Is he shooting you with the gay? I'm just... He sure is. <laughs> This game made me like penises. He's shooting you with a gay agenda. Oh, that's funny. And he's spitting rock and roll at you. I should be being more careful. I mean, you have E-Tanks, don't you? But I've got E-Tanks that I'm fairly confident are both 100% full. Cuss it, I'm both being empty. <laughs> cut. Hilarious. Cut, cut, cut to us fucking being like, yeah, so you fully heal after Dynamaxing the Pokemon, right? Oh god, don't even, <laughs> don't even fucking remind me. <laughs> I felt so dumb at that point, I feel even dumber now. No, dude, come on. It's not that bad. It's kind of like that one time I played that one game on the hardest difficulty and I was really good at it. I'm standing by you're, that. You're really gonna make me keep going back to the footage not found joke, aren't you? <laughs> footage not found. Dude, just cut to that footage of me being really good at the game. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Which one was that? The, the, which which the one was whole, that? The whole game. Which one was that? Um, that one game. Which, which one? The best one. You know. Which, which one was that? You know the one. I forget the name. You're gonna have to remind me. But the best one. Which one was that? Yeah, you know. You know the one. The which, people. The which people one was that? At, the people at home now. That's all. They're gonna think this. that I don't know how to fight this boss because I've been <laughs> just abusing the fucking this so much. Nah, this is just chill. This is X4 and chill, dog. There you go. You did it. You, you I promise you folks at home, I can 100% beat this boss with normal X without the armor, but... So you know how in X1, there's that... Look at this stupid fucking. face. You know how in X1, uh, there's that really fucking stupid uh, boss that's like a face in the wall? And it shoots his eyes at you, And they bring it back in X5, and I was like, I'm gonna fight this fucking thing with zero. And I did... And that made me angrier than I think I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> I was just like, are you fucking serious? Dude, just burn it to the ground! Burn, burn! Okay, that maybe made me a bit angry, but still. But burn, 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 burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Burn By the way, the guys, ground. uh, game's over. Oh yeah, we beat it. Congratulations, Freddy, you destroyed a game. This is the first time we've completed a game on this channel. No, I say it. Oh yeah, okay, that's true. It was also me playing, listen so it's that, always me. Listen to that I'm the only one with follow-through. <laughs> listen to this sexy-ass music. Producer. KG Inafune. What are we gonna You know, that Siders. guy. Bamboo. That guy. Oh, okay. Do we ever beat Darksiders? No. We never will. I don't know, man. You know, another Darksiders game is out now Darksiders Genesis. Yeah, we should buy it for the Stadia. Oh, God. And then play it. Yeah, I'm sure that would be a great streaming experience. Yeah, dude, it'd be fucking phenomenal. On my fucking Spectrum internet. Yeah, on, dude, on the Spectrum internet. That's not fair. That that means autistic people would be on, equated to that shitty internet service. Dude, scroll design. They autistic design. people can be actually useful and totally cool. They designed the they designed the Dead Sea Scrolls. I'm just kidding. Music. One guy. Sound Hyper effect. Mino as opposed to Chill Mino. Sound effect. More, more rich. rich. More money. More money. More problems. More rich. More dick. Is that what he's getting Ruth at? Ruth Siraishi. Wayne Doster, John Mark Hagen, Matthew Mearsbergen. John O'Connor does not belong on there. Kazuo Oka. Animation staff, x -Bec. Good job. Bec. Good job, x -Bec. It's Zebek. Yoko Kami. Unbex. Nobuo Hori. Unbex. Yoko Ito. Shingo Adachi. Ryuji Fujita. Hiromi Aoki. Kawibata. Masaki Kimura. K Ma Productions. Kenshin Productions, Connie Productions, Matrix Marks. Yukio Maris. Sugiyama, Hiroki Sakito, Haruhiko Sumora, Sori Kibe. Production AI, dude. <coughs> dude, special thanks. Uh, Sayori Ishibiki. <laughs> Eric with a K. Koji Nakajima. Eric Suzuki. Yoshihiro Sudo. Takeshi Kawano. 
It's a good thing I watch anime, otherwise I'd have no idea how to say it. Katsuhiro Izumi. I'm just kidding. Takeshi I in the way. I still have And anything. all Capcom staff! All of them! Every single one. General producer. Thanks, Noitaka Funazmizu. Dude, look at that space colony just exploding in the background. Yoshiki Okamoto. I can't skip this, by the way. Okamoto, it's fine. Let it roll, dude. We gotta appreciate these fine people who made the yes. best Mega Man X game. Look at that sweet earth in the background. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. Where's Thank the you for making at? a great game that I enjoyed. Where's Unlike the most games that come out these days. Where's the colony at? Uh, it's after Colony 195. No. Oh, shit, dude. Fucking talking about Project Meteor. Hell yeah. That's what's up. The year is after Colony 195. Lots of recycled footage of Wing Zero just going and then spinning in circles, shooting his beams. Dun, 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 Lots of recycled dun, footage dun, 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 of, of, of heavy dun, arms da, going. Da, 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 da. Supposedly, so I always thought the battle has ended, yet somehow X doesn't feel quite right. What caused all those robots to turn into Mavericks, aside from the fucking Sigma virus? Will it happen to me someday? Probably it. not. Has X just realized his tragic destiny? It appears that X will have to solve this mystery one day. Was soon. Was fucking the Sigma virus in this game? Uh, I thought the Sigma virus... Yeah, the Sigma virus is in this game because uh, Zero has it. No, because at the beginning of the game, Zero's like in Wily mode, and then Sigma punches Zero in the forehead, and then Zero becomes a good guy after that. I think the Sigma virus has been a thing since like X2, hasn't it? Maybe? I don't I know. Thought, no, I oh. think the Sigma virus is, give, was the reason given why X, why in X1, why the bad guys are bad guys. It could be. I honestly don't know. I know he recruits guys to come work for him, but I don't know. You know what, guys? Thanks for joining us on this fucking magical ride. I feel yeah. a lot better having played X4 again. It was a party. It's a good game. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I enjoyed it far more than Star Wars. Uh, just, so. just, yeah. Yeah. Good times. We want to cut this one short? Talk to you guys later. Hell yeah. Shut up and sit down.